in a move that has depicted Australia's newfound policy to tackle the allegations of Chinese subversion and spionage that had been festering within the political ranks, the Australian intelligence officers and police raided the home and office of Labour MP Shoket Mosselman. The New South Wales legislator has long been under the scanners from the opposition and his party for having alleged ties to the ruling Chinese Communist Party. Mosel Main has been particularly in awe of the Chinese President Xi Jinping. He has publicly praised Xi Jinping's unswerving leadership during the coronavirus pandemic, contrasting it favorably with Australia's own response. Writing for one of his personal websites, Mosel Main had said, for the People's Republic of China, President Xi stepped up and provided that leadership he mustered the resources of the nation and together with the great people of china fought it and contained it this is not all in 2018 mozelmain gave a speech suggesting a new world order would be needed if china was to fulfill its potential the local media of new south wales has reported that mozelmain had even hired a staffer who had been trained at beijing's Chinese Academy of Governance. The Australian Security Intelligence Organization confirmed that search warrant activity is occurring in Sydney as part of an ongoing investigation. While the authorities are investigating Mosulman, his party has distanced itself from the MP. New South Wales Labour Party leader Jodie McKay informed the media that she had begun the process of suspending Mosulman's membership in the party. She said, it's dreadfully concerning. It's important that every MP focuses on the people in their state. At a time when Prime Minister Scott Morrison and the likes of Foreign Minister Marisa Payne are waging a lone battle against the Chinese in the backdrop of coronavirus pandemic, MPs like Mosulman are openly behaving as the member of the CCP Politburo. Another Labour MP and the Shadow Agriculture Minister, Joel Fitzgibbon had also towed Beijing's line and called to stop offending the Chinese. Joel said, Australia didn't need to be out there in front offending the Chinese and if we hadn't done that, we might not be having some of the diplomatic relationship troubles we are having at the moment. The trade war between Australia and China has been getting nastier by the day. As a result, the bilateral relations have taken a dip too. China has been visibly surprised as its aggressive maneuvers to pin down Australia have backfired. To counter China, Australia has already started diversifying its products to countries like India. The June 4 summit between Prime Minister Morrison and Prime Minister Modi also opened up new maritime deals that will go a long way in tackling the dragon's influence. Australia has even changed its foreign investment rules which gives greater approval powers to the Foreign Investment Review Board, which is the FIRB, to curtail opportunistic takeovers of struggling businesses by the Chinese amid increasing national security risk. TFI has reported time and again that one of the slyest Chinese tactics to win influence in a foreign country is to buy off the big journalistic institutions, the political legislators, opening propagandist Confucius schools and in case of Australia, using Diagosti. MPs like Joel and Mosulman are disguised Chinese operatives that have been planted by Beijing to take over Canberra's political system with an intricate system of espionage and surveillance. The Australian government knows it has to act fast as Beijing is looking to move to its plan B. The plan revolves around changing the public perception of Australians by using the likes of Mosul Main to set a narrative that Canberra was unnecessarily creating a rift between the two countries. Shoket Mosul Main might be the first of the many moles to be hammered with several still out in the open. Therefore, the Australian government needs to carry on with this attitude and bring the CCP agents masquerading as politicians out in the open.